What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, well, you've come to the right place. Jake Lucky is someone who's been featured in a few of my videos, most notably where I talked about the time he went after YouTuber and streamer I Show Speed for being mean in a video game. Come on, bruh! Man, you gotta hit those shots, man. Man, shut your stupid ass up! Who was you talking to, bruh? Shut your nerd ass up! How he did a bunch of one and oh, this ain't right. Kids are looking up to this and finding it funny, and he almost got Speed's channel terminated. Now, I've been keeping tabs on this guy, and I've found out that he has to have one of the most pathetic careers on the internet. His channels are completely dead, he's got his own channel, 40,000 subscribers, yet he only gets a few thousand views. Apparently, he's employed by another channel, and the views are, well, they're better, but still pathetic. And I already know you guys are saying, well, Slick, you ain't exactly PewDiePie out here either. Well, the difference is, I'm a rising star, baby. My time to shine's yet to come. Jake had his chance and he blew it. The only place where this guy unfortunately seems to have any sort of relevance is on Twitter and he's using it in the desperate hope of rebuilding his career online to no avail at all obviously. He seems to brand his account as a news outlet for streaming news but all he does is rip clips from other streamers to post on his own account. He's literally stealing other people's work. He may as well be a glorified clip account. Scratch that, he's not even glorified. This guy ain't news, he's a full on clip channel. I mean at least with people like me, we actually add our own commentary we build on the content that we're watching we transform it Jake can't even be asked to do that. Well, would you know, three months after trying to cancel Speed, he's at it again. I show Speed getting a blowjob in Minecraft in front of 9,000 viewers. Come on, man, what are you doing? He got a video attached, which I'm obviously not gonna play because, well, the guy's getting a sucky. It's nothing too bad, to be honest. I mean, it's Minecraft, but there are rules on this side. Now, to be fair to Jake, he didn't dig into Speed as much as he did before, right? I mean, last time he was all like, I'm not trying to cancel cancel speed, I'm just calling attention to something that I don't find okay. We all kind of knew what he was trying to do. He went on this tirade about how it's inappropriate cause kids are watching him as if YouTubers have any responsibility over that, whatever. But here, he keeps it short and sweet. That being said, it rubs me the wrong way the fact that he brings up the viewer count because it's a similar thing he did last time he pulled a stunt like this. YouTube responded with a tweet that was pretty scary. Mind sharing the video URL with us over DM? You can also report the content using the steps here. I think at the time of this tweet, the stream was deleted, so I don't think there's anything that could have been done, which is good, because Jake Lucky has a reputation for being a bit of a hall monitor, a snitch, as it so were. There's no doubt in my mind he would have sent this clip in to get the guy banned if it meant he could get some clout from it. Apparently, Speed did end up getting a strike, which he addressed on Twitter. Really? I couldn't even hit 10 million. Nothing happens in this stream. Can't believe this actually happened. Can you review this stream? Hat Team YouTube, Hat YouTube. Of course, Jake Lucky just can't keep his grubby little fingers off of speed. I show speed claims he has been banned and saying goodbye from YouTube. He's just been given a community strike and the content was taken down. That is all. He's not going anywhere and will break 10 million subs today. Wow, dude, you're such a journalist over here. You're really bringing light to this whole thing, letting people know the truth, the truth, goddamn. Like, dude, buzz off. The sooner you're off of Twitter and on a McDonald's grill, the better. Now, speed, fed up with this guy's nonsense, actually responds. Bro, what is your problem. Like, seriously. I mean, really, this tweet says it better than I ever could have. I talk about streamer news. You are a streamer. You got a blowjob in a Minecraft mod. I shared the clip. Again, this guy really prides himself on being a news outlet. He talks about streamer news, everyone, because obviously someone getting sloppy toppy in a Minecraft mod is hard hitting stuff. No. This ain't news, you're just leeching off of a YouTuber. I mean, seriously, is it really news that someone who built a career off of doing weird stuff on stream is doing weird stuff on stream? Get over your ego. You're not a reporter, you're just a clout chaser. Yeah, and you share it with no context. I immediately deleted the stream as soon as it showed TOS. Just admit you want views and it's okay. I will never show porn on stream knowing my position, but your job is to make someone look bad, so congrats. What do you mean without context? You literally knew you were getting a blowjob live on stream from a Minecraft character for nearly a minute. Give me the full context then. You're just not getting the point, are you? What's the context? What do you mean the context? I just told you I didn't know TOS was gonna pop up, so I deleted 
deleted the stream, it's like getting a dance in GTA, etc. Just hold this ratio, mate. I'm tired of going back and forth. And that's where the interaction seems to end. I think it's interesting to see what played out when Speed actually has a chance to speak his mind. Last time Jake was going after this guy, I don't really think Speed could have really fought back. There were rumors that he could lose his channel, so he was kind of forced to give an apology. But now he gets to let Jake have it, and what can I say? It's glorious. After getting owned by Speed, Jake Lucky tries to divert the hate he got by making it about threats people made about his family, apparently. I'm not sorry for sharing the speed clip. I would have done it for any streamer, and I have in the past. Wow, Jake, you're so noble and brave, not in shining armor. I'm sorry I didn't censor it to my audience. I'm sorry that I'm somehow a racist and my family is getting threats. Please keep the hate directed at me and me alone. No, don't worry, Jake. We're gonna keep the hate on you because you deserve everything you get. Honestly, I'm not even sure if he believes half of what comes out of his mouth. Like, either he's putting on a facade of moral superiority to spin moral outrage, in which case, well, he's a grifter, or he genuinely does believe what he says, in which case, he's just a miserable pile of. Now, as far as the racism stuff, I know that's something that Keen was pushing. I'm pretty sure he's joking, kind of using Jake's tactics against him or whatever, so it's pretty funny to see Jake use that to victimize himself. Now while I'm talking about it, something else Jake got wrapped up in was regarding this kid on Twitch. I'll roll a clip, give you an idea of what's going on. Yo, I'm so cold right now. I hope her titties warm me up. How do I join? Shorty. Why are they deleting my shit? Bro, she is my girlfriend. I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. She's literally my girlfriend. We dated. We've been dating for like two months now. Anyway, it's time to go harass more women because it's funny and it's content. I should join her Discord and harass people in her Discord, bro. I'm, I'm gonna make a little hard freestyle on this ugly ass bitch, you know what I'm saying? Yo, hey, she looking at me like a hoe. Don't give a fuck, you got no bros. Look at you, bitch, you are a little slut. I present to you the new generation of kids inspired by edgy content creators that think it's funny to be disrespectful. Now, I don't know what this last part is. They think it's funny to be disrespectful. I mean, it is funny to be disrespectful. That's what a lot of comedy is, being disrespectful. You watch a comedian and they usually ain't being nice. They're usually bringing someone down with them. I mean, you look at my videos, I'm usually making videos about stupid people doing stupid things. It's funny, it gives me a lot of material to work with. Now, nah, sure, it's not very respectful, but it sure as hell is funny. Now, nah, as far as the kid goes, like, dude, he's gotta be in elementary school, middle school at the worst. I'm sure this adult woman can handle getting flack from an I show speed wannabe. Of course, Jake Lucky just had to weigh in. I'm sure you're just excited to hear his take on the matter. The next generation of kids streamers need help. Obviously, a lot of us said stupid stuff as kids, and this is why you gotta be at least 13 years old to be streaming. But goes without saying, the kind of edgy humor that kids look up to and then think is okay to go do and do themselves and take it to a whole new level. So, of course, you have these people who are putting edgy content creators at fault. And I just think it's ridiculous. It makes as much sense as blaming violent video games for real world violence. I think this whole argument that Jake has in the past voiced support for, where, oh, content creators should be more careful with the content content that they make because kids look up to them and they think it's okay. It's ridiculous, right? The whole argument can easily be dismantled by simply saying, what do I care? They ain't my kids. Because at the end of the day, random children online aren't the responsibility of content creators. You'd think that would be common knowledge, but no, I guess, apparently. Why should creators have to change the type of content that they want to make in order to appeal to these kids? Hell, if you're an edgy YouTuber, chances are you don't even want kids in your audience so it's like you're asking them to appeal to an audience that they don't even want and honestly i think we're forgetting one thing with children they grow up they watch people like speed and they might take inspiration from them for their own content but at some point they grow up they mature, they come to a realization that they don't find this sort of stuff funny anymore. And it's not like I'm talking out of my hua here. You look at people like Jack Septicai, Mark Plyer, PewDiePie, fantastic people, I'm sure, but a lot of the people who watch them usually grow up and out of their humor. And that's not to trash anyone who might like watching them, mind you, I'm just saying, that's usually the cycle. And even if they enjoy this sort of content to their teenage, maybe even adult years, well, who gives a damn? They're an adult, they're mature enough to make their own decisions. 
decisions. They still like edgy humor, that's on them. If they want to take inspiration from that humor to then make their own content, that's also on them. Finally, are we just forgetting that parents exist? How about instead of making a fuss over people making videos, why don't we get the parents to be good role models for their children? I mean, that's what they're supposed to do, right? But no, they're too lazy to spend time with their kids, so they just give them their phones, which leads them to watch people like these in the first place. For God's sake, all you gotta do is throw the old pigskin around, talk with them, keep up to date with their life. You complain that creators are influencing the way that kids act, and it's like, well, yeah, that's gonna happen if you're not gonna do your job as a goddamn parent. All this to say that edgy content creators ain't to blame for any of this. They're just making the type of content that they want to make. It ain't their problem if kids watch them. I don't know, I'm done here. I've had it with Jake and his, I don't know, his friends, I suppose. I very rarely say stuff like this, but I genuinely want to see this guy go. Normally, I don't care about people having stupid opinions online, but I've frankly had it with his moral-based opinions that he probably don't even believe in. His pathetic attempts to get people canceled, you know, I'm done with it. For God's sake. No, Jake, just delete your Twitter account. Go back to your Don channel, you absolute fink. But that's all I've got. Felicity. Now, you guys do old Jackie favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.